Hey folks, Blackcross here, and welcome back to another segment involving Kingdom Hearts 3, as well as some future updates that may occur after Kingdom Hearts 3 gets released. So let's get started with the first uh, bit of information we have. Uh, Testing Amora stated that now that Kingdom Hearts 3 year has been revealed to the world, now they plan on revealing more of the Kingdom Hearts worlds that will be in Kingdom Hearts 3. He basically said that there was no more reason to hide them anymore, and that now they're ready to be revealed to the public as it gets closer to its release. So what it means is that basically as it gets closer to Kingdom Hearts 3's official release date, it basically means that they are going to be revealing the Kingdom Hearts 3's worlds slowly throughout the year. Now, if we can assume that they plan on doing it uh, video wise we can safely say that there are a bunch of worlds that they still need to reveal, one of them being Sanford's Tokyo. So in other words, uh, there could be a lot of worlds that still need to be revealed up until Kingdom Hearts 3's release date. Now, if we were to rely on a source of information that we have attained it earlier beforehand, he stated that, and I say stated because he's never really said this to the public, he mostly said this to like different news articles and stuff like that, and with different translations we can only rely on the sources that we have before us. But anyway, to the main uh, question at hand, he basically said that he wanted to have more worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3. What he means is, is that, let's put it in perspective of Kingdom Hearts 2, which is currently the one game that has the most worlds in there. You know, it has a total of, and I count it, including that of Atlantis, uh, Space Paranoid, Pooh's World, as well as Timeless River, there are actually a total of 14 different worlds. So if we want to take a safe bet, they would have to have at least 15 worlds in order for it to be the one game that has the most worlds. So if we were to estimate 15 different worlds, we can only assume that there could be like, at most, probably 9 or 10 different uh, videos or different worlds that could be talked about in Kingdom Hearts 3. We don't even know if they're going to have 15, we don't even know if they're going to have more or less. It's just information we do not have at this current moment in time. What we do know is that if we were to count Yangs' Tower and Twilight Town as separate worlds, we have a total of six different worlds that are confirmed. Five that are officially revealed to the public. Remember, Sanford's Tokyo, being that a big Hero 6, this world, has not visually been revealed to the public. It's been revealed in an art sketch design, but not so much as to like an actual world reveal in terms of a 3D field of vision. So, how are they going to do this? When are they going to do this? And how often will we get them? Well, it all depends on how they go about it. If they were to go like the route that they have been right now, which is to show one world at a time, then we can assume that we can get at least one trailer or at least one new world revealed once per two months, probably at most. I say at most because we still do not know when Kingdom Hearts 3 gets released. We only know it gets released in 2018. For all we know, it could be somewhere towards the end of 2018, rather than the middle. So, that right there can give us a clear definition ideal that we could be seeing a lot of trailers between now and when it gets released sometime next year. Now, of course, there's also another brief detail that maybe they could be doing two worlds per trailer, in which case the average might be at least two to three, maybe even four months at most, probably. So, it all depends on how they go about revealing these worlds, as well as to, like, how they go about it in pacing. After all, if what Namora says is true, then that means that he wants to reveal every world that will be in Kingdom Hearts 3. And this is good news to know, because, like I said, if you want to keep the flow of the bandwagon, or hype train in this case, going, you need to present more and more details of the game if you want to keep the hype going. 
I don't mean you have to do this every month, but every so often you do need to have some form of reveal in order to keep fans' attention. What we've got right now regarding Kingdom Hearts release year, as well as Toy Story being a world, we've already got a good grasp of the audience now, like Square Enix have made a right decision on revealing Toy Story as a world. Now there are some misconceptions as well as some like mixed opinions about this, but that's for another time at another place. With that being said, let's just go ahead into the next bit of information, being that of the future of Kingdom Hearts 3. One of them being Kingdom Hearts 3 possibly having DLC. Yes, I know, as much as I don't want to hear this, even I have to admit that the company's going to do whatever they want, and if they feel like they can make some more uh, buck for their money for DLC, then they're going to do it regardless. However, though, Tessie Nomura said that he's neither confirming it, nor is he denying it, that there could be a possibility for future DLC coming out for Kingdom Hearts 3. And basically what he's he basically said was that he told his team that while there is no plans, he said to prepare them for if they were to be asked to make some, that they are to come up with plans and ideals for future DLCs for Kingdom Hearts 3. So that right there is some good news to talk about, is that the team is already trying to come up with plans for if DLC gets asked for from either, I want to say, the uh, stockholders meeting or whatever, and I say that's probably what it is, is that if Kingdom Hearts 3 gets popularized, and by po popularized, I mean they sell like a huge amount in terms of like when it gets released within the first month, then they'll be like, okay, this sold really well, can we get some DLCs out? In which case, Nomura can state that, yes, the team has been working on a couple of ideals, and we can get started as of right now if we have to. And that's basically what he's saying. Another thing that he said, too, is that Kingdom Hearts 3 main release will not be interrupted by DLC. What that means is that they're not going to take anything away from Kingdom Hearts 3. It's all going to be right there when it gets released. Everything, every content, every world will not be taken away from the main Kingdom Hearts 3 game. Any DLC that gets put on there, it will be put on there as if though as if it's a last minute adjustment. Which is how DLC added on content should be. It should be made strictly for if the development team feels like they want to add more to the main game, then they can. It's not meant to withhold anything back from the main game and release it for a high price is meant to be put as to like an extra content not part of the main game that right there is still great news to hear because we know that dlc is not going to be interrupting the main process gaming of kingdom hearts 3 and honestly again while i personally don't like dlcs and added on content because of how companies have presented it now I will admit that if Square Enix can present DLC and added on content in a better way than what has been presented to us in the past, then I think Kingdom Hearts 3 stands a chance to actually, like, potentially might having DLC. I personally don't want DLC. I believe Kingdom Hearts 3 should be a solid game and not have any added content whatsoever. But if for some reason they decide on having some added content, what that might be, we really don't have any information we only know that the team are coming up with some plans should the decision of having DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3 arose. So while that information is good, we still have some like extra information to talk about regarding after Kingdom Hearts 3 gets released. This is the first bit of information. The first bit is that will Kingdom Hearts 3 be put on the Nintendo Switch? Now there has been mostly a lot of speculations, but Nomura stated that if we want to, we could put it on the Nintendo Switch. And what he's basically saying is that he doesn't want it to interfere with the project of the main Kingdom Hearts game. Basically put is that he wants to concentrate Kingdom Hearts 3 on the original two consoles that is supposed to be released, being that a PS4 and Xbox One. And that if for some reason they want to, after Kingdom Hearts 3's release date, they'll actually work on a Nintendo Switch port for Kingdom Hearts 3. And that's actually pretty good. That means that their main focus right now is the official release for Kingdom Hearts 3 on the main two consoles. 
And if for some reason if they want to, after Kingdom Hearts 3 gets released, then they'll work on a port for it for the Nintendo Switch. So if I had to take a wild guess, I would say it might take like, I don't know, maybe a year or two at best, for a Kingdom Hearts 3 game to be put on the Nintendo Switch after its initial release. So in other words, Nintendo's fans will be waiting for a while, but at the same time, if for some reason they decide on working on it, they will more than likely eventually get one on the Nintendo Switch. I have no doubt in my mind that they will, because if it sells well on both PS4 and Xbox One, then no doubt in my mind that fans will be happy to hear that news and information. It means that no one will be restricted from the Kingdom Hearts franchise, regardless of what console they're from. Another bit of information that's being talked about right now, and again the same answer comes from the same previous question, is that Kingdom Hearts remixes, in other words the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5, will it be released for the Xbox One? The same answer applies, that they want to focus their main attention to Kingdom Hearts 3's main project. After Kingdom Hearts 3 gets released, then they'll work on a port for the F Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 to be put on the Xbox One. And I say the same answer will apply for the Nintendo Switch, but that has not been talked about nor has it been confirmed yet. That's just basically stating that Nomura wants to concentrate on Kingdom Hearts 3 as of right now, and then after it gets released, then they'll work on other projects that is needed attention. He does understand that these potential ideals could come out and could very well be, I suppose you could say the term is, best selling point, but for the time being he wants to concentrate on the main game itself. And that's good because that means that the whole process, the whole team is now focused on Kingdom Hearts 3. In the past we've had a few little distractions here and there that prevents the progression of Kingdom Hearts 3. For example, Yoko Shiromura was distracted from creating soundtracks for Kingdom Hearts 3 because of the World Tour. The development team had to help other teams like Final Fantasy 7 Remake as well as Final Fantasy 15 in order to help speed things up. Now the main focus is towards Kingdom Hearts 3. And that right there tells me a lot. That means that we can suspect a full-fledged development team working harder and harder to get Kingdom Hearts 3 to be released. But at the same time, I don't want them to rush themselves. I want them to carefully analyze everything that the game needs in order to be a fully finished game. But hearing that they are fully focused towards it does tell me that they are working as hard as they can to make certain Kingdom Hearts 3 meets its initial release goal. But if for some reason it gets pushed back, which some of us hopefully doesn't want that to happen, but if it does, oh well. If for some reason it gets pushed back, it's mostly because one or two minor misconceptions or some minor bugs that needs to be fixed before it gets released. And I'm sure we'll find that information when it gets closer to its release date. Again, all of this is just now coming out as of right now, meaning that after D23, these questions were brought up to Nomura by several different magazine corporations as well as several news article companies that are asking these questions and the more are revealing them as we speak. So I can imagine he was very busy on that day and I can imagine that the whole team right now, now that the release year is revealed, the whole team has a lot more pressure put on them, but I'm hoping that that doesn't concern anything towards development process and instead it gets them closer to like, you know, getting the game finally made and finally put into the best it could possibly be. Anyway though, I just wanted to go ahead and get that bit of information revealed to you right now because uh, the next video that I'm going to be putting in terms of Kingdom Hearts 3 is like the future questions that needs to be revealed for Kingdom Hearts 3. That will relatively be a small video, I'd say probably about, I don't know, about like uh, 8 or 9 minutes. But then the next video that I want to do is detailed gameplay information as to how Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to play, and it's all thanks to several YouTubers who've been talking about the game, as well as 0.2 gameplay has sort of less, like, opened my mind as to, like, how the gameplay is going to work, and needless to say, that type of information needs to be revealed. It has not really been in-depth talked about, it's been more or less, like, spread out information, and now the whole entire world is slowly putting together 
the ideal concept as to how the gameplay is going to work, but there is still some question that needs to be revealed as of right now. But that's a future video that I will do, and I will see you in the next one. Till then, this is Black Cross signing off. Take care, guys.